Hi, I'm Anthony Gettig, and welcome to another tutorial, this time for Pro Tools and e-learning editing. So um, I do a lot of e-learning. I have some pretty good workflows for this, and here's one that has really helped me. Hopefully, it will help you. Now, with e-learning, a lot of times, you know, we have to split uh, the audio out into separate files, and a lot of programs like uh, Twisted Wave, Adobe Audition, uh, they will use uh, markers. You can use markers and then split by files. Well, uh, Pro Tools has markers, but they don't work that way. So uh, let me show you how I would edit this and then uh, split the files. Here's the editing part. So over here in my template, I actually have one second, 1.5 seconds, and three seconds of room tone. So I'm going to take and drag my three seconds out here, and then I'm going to simply copy that to the clipboard. And then as I'm going through 1002, so here, here are the slides, I will go through and put three seconds between each one. There's a method to this madness here, okay? So let's uh, do this. Oh, there's the a processing. The processing. There we go. And we'll take these boo boos out. I won't bore you with all of this editing. Select. Select now. So I'm going to go ahead and continue and do this for the rest of the file. And we'll be right back. And there we go. So now I have uh, edited out the boo boos and placed three seconds between everything, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, consolidate this real quick. There we go. And you can see that three second gap between everything. Now at this point, if I wanted to, uh, oh, that's a cough, I'll take that out. Uh, at this point, if I wanted to, I could run some other processing on here if I wanted to say, you know, uh, normalize. Sure, let's go ahead and, and normalize this to uh, minus three, like I usually do. Well, you know, took it down a little bit. Um, you could do your mouth declick, whatever you do here. But here's how you're going to split this out, right? Choose the uh, choose the file, and then come up here to edit, and then go down to strip silence. And you can see here it's starting to lay some stuff out, and it's detecting the silences. But what we, what we want to do, let me bring this over here. We want to uh, change these parameters just a little bit. We want to pad the beginning and the end of each clip by a little bit of, by a little bit of time, and like. 141 milliseconds is fine, somewhere in there. I mean, you don't want to do too much. You can see the edges of things are, you know, as I move this, the edges of each clip is changing, All right? But the strip duration, we put three seconds in, right? So let's crank this up to like, say, 2.4, 2.5 seconds. Now look at the grid here. Check that out. So I'm going to go ahead, I can either separate these, which makes every everywhere there's a line up here, it makes it a new clip. Or you can say strip, and that's what I'm going to do. I want to strip the silence out. Boom. Do that. Close this. Come back here to my timeline. And now I can see I have every file and the slates in between all there. So let's go back and listen to some of this and see. 1002. 1002. Great. I'll name it 1002. 1005. 1005. There we go. Oh, yeah, but what about all this other space? As I go along, I just go through and clean it up as I go. You could do it afterwards, I suppose. 1006. 1006. So on and so forth. So let me finish this up, and then we'll come back and uh, with a few final thoughts. And there you go. That's uh, pretty much how I do it. I will add the silence. I will strip the silence. And uh, yeah, of course, I don't have a full course on here. This is really just for demonstration purposes, but just to show you that that's how I do it. And there you go. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, please give it a like and give a subscribe. We're going to start creating more voiceover content here in the very near future. Until next time, take care and God bless.